So you made the dangerous trek and you went to the dentist and you got a dental crown. So my name is Dr. Tamisha Dennis and this is Beauty and the Teeth. And today I'm going to be talking to you about what you should expect after having a crown at a dental office and look out for the things that are normal, the things that are not normal, just to get rid of some of your fears. So when people go to the dental office and get a crown done, the process, which I have other videos about, is this. You come in, the dentist is going to numb your tooth. After they numb your tooth, they typically are going to drill your tooth down, typically taking out whatever cavity or broken filling that you had in there before, take it out, and then we do a filling underneath the crown. We shave it, we smooth it down, and after that's all done, depending on the dental office that you're going to, you might do a physical impression, which means that mushy stuff that they put inside of your mouth, or they do a scan of the tooth in order to give the lab something to make your dental crown. Now, most of the time, at the end of that, you're going to get a temporary crown that goes on top of that. After that is done, you leave. Depending on your dental office, they may say, come back in a week, come back in two weeks, come back in three weeks, whatever their time frame is, they'll tell you before you go. Now, during the time that you're waiting for your crown, a lot of things can happen. First of all, they should tell you, because of all that drilling that the dentist did to your tooth, you might have a little sensitivity of the tooth or the gums. When I say a little sensitivity, I mean just a little. Maybe when you bite down, it might be a little tender, Maybe when you chew on that side, it may not feel so great. Maybe when you have something cold to drink, you might feel a shiver, something cold, or even something warm, basically temperature. Sometimes when you brush your teeth, if the toothpaste gets on there, maybe the sweetness of it might make you feel funny. So there's a variety of things that you can feel during that time that are normal. Now, most of the time I tell my patients before they leave on their first appointment that during the time that they are waiting for their crown, if they have any like big pains to let me know. Meaning you start having pain in the night, you have throbbing, aching, pounding, something very dramatic. Just let me know because that is not normal. But normal, hot, cold, and bite, that stuff, tenderness is absolutely normal. Usually I say in, if it's a two week wait, usually about one week is about that stuff happens. And the second week usually gets better because your gums feel better depending on what situation your tooth was in before you had the crown. So if usually around there, by the time people come back in two weeks, they're feeling pretty good. Okay. So I tell, like I said before, I tell my patients, if you had any of those symptoms, I say, well, how did you feel while you were in your temporary? And if they say, oh man, it was terrible. I pause for a second because I will not put a permanent crown on a tooth that is in pain. Now, if they felt great, oh, I didn't really notice it. Maybe a hot, a little cold. That's fine. So that's basically within what is normal for you to feel. So if you have any of those things, you should probably be fine. If of course you're very paranoid, you can always call your dentist and say, Hey, I'm feeling some things I don't really know are normal. Can you just let me know if that's normal? Do you know what I mean? So the second thing that um, usually is a probability when you just had a crown. The second thing is your temporary coming off. Now, depending on the current state of your tooth, okay? For example, if you had a root canal, which means that they took the nerve out of the tooth, if you had a root canal, most of the time, you're not going to have any of the sensitivities that I talked about before because you have no nerve in the tooth. However, if you don't have a root canal, your tooth it is normal if your temporary comes off for you to feel some sensitivity. Now, it shouldn't be extreme pain, which it can be because there is no enamel protection on the tooth and therefore the tooth is more vulnerable to the um, things that you are eating and drinking and all of that stuff. So if that, if those kind of sensitivities is normal without um, a crown, I tell all of my patients, they say, well, is that normal? And I say, well, for you it is because of course having pain is not normal. However, having um, pain when your crown temporary crown comes off. Yes, that's normal because there's nothing really wrong with you. It's just your temporary crown came off. Now, of course, if that happens, your first line of defense is always to call your dental office and say, Hey, my temporary came crown came off. Um, can I come in to have it either put back in replaced? I mean, uh, I've heard a lot of funny stories about what happens to people's temporaries. Sometimes people's temporaries crack and break and they swallow them, eat parts of them. Um, they don't know where it went. They wake up and it's gone. All kinds of 
of weird stories about what happens to people's temporaries, but it is not an emergency typically, unless it's your front teeth, it's emergency, right? Because nobody wants to walk around with no front tooth. So if any of that happens, if it comes out, um, and it's during business hours for your dental office, I'm pretty sure that you can call and have them put it back on. Most of the time, my patients, they call and we say, well, how do you feel about it? <laughs> Are you feeling pretty good? Because if you're feeling pretty good, then it depends on how close your appointment is coming. So that is something that you can talk to your dental office and say, you know, what should I do in that situation? Now, if it is not within business hours, I usually suggest people to get some denture adhesive, which is um, denture glue, um, and in other words, fixident, polygrip, things like that. They're kind of sticky and tacky, um, and they are easy to kind of negotiate. When you're putting on a dental crown that has come off, I will tell you my number one tip as a dentist is there's no wrong way to put it on because it will go on regardless the right way. It will not go on the wrong way. If you're forcing it on, it's like a puzzle piece. It's only going to go on one way. So then you can just go ahead and put that back on, put a little poly grip or fix it in and just put it right back onto the tooth and you should be good. Now, of course, like I said, that's only option two after calling your dental office to see if they can put it back on for you. Right? So then if you do that, the nice thing about that, instead of using a lot of these tempets and things like that they, they sell um, in like the Walgreens and the different drugstores, is that it allows um, the dentist to be able to remove it a lot easier. Please do not use crazy glue. I cannot tell you how many stories of crazy glue that I have when it comes to people and their crowns and all kinds of things. And I tell all my patients, crazy glue, crazy glue does work. However, it works very well, meaning there's a possibility you go to the office and say, oh, you know what, Dr. Dennis, my temporary came off and I stuck it on with crazy glue and I can't get it back off without drilling or doing all of these other things, right? And then, so usually if you use a denture adhesive, it's a lot easier and it allows the dentist to be able to take it off later. That's pretty much the basics of it. So once you've survived that two week period of the time where you're in your temporary, hopefully, it's a good experience and it's good. You go into the dental office and the dentist is going to remove your temporary and replace it with your permanent crown, take x-rays, check all the things, make sure your bite feels good and all of that. And then you'll be all done. And I always tell my patients, even from that point, it always feels strange and new because you were in a temporary feeling uncomfortable. And now you're in a permanent crown that is new again. And usually you will get used to it. And if you are not getting used to it, you always call your dental office to ask them, Hey, can you take a look at it? I just don't feel right. Or something feels a little off because the what you really want to do is forget about it completely all right so this is dr tamisha dennis i hope that you learned something today and i hope that if you had recently a dental crown done in a dental office that hearing me talk about this made you feel a little bit more comfortable and a little less anxious i know there's a lot of fears in and around dentistry and i always always strive to do content that helps to get rid of those fears all right if you're not already subscribed make sure you subscribe and like this video if you liked it and see you for the next one. Bye.